time I was out surveying, I spotted an old cruiser. I'm pretty sure it belonged to Chief Jackson. He always kept it loaded with weapons. We might find something useful. Now that's news in your head. Hmm. Wonder. I never got this last time. Maybe I should get started on that. And Cadet has not tried to recover um, Sam and Sarah and Max's child yet. Yeah, I have enough bullets to secure this whole town and cars and manpower. Like I, I wall off the bridge and the river. I, 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 there, I could legitimately do that with my forces. We should build some new rooms while there's still space to swing a hammer. Stick a couple people on nearby roofs until all the zombies are gone. Clear out each building one at a time. I mean, we could do this. I could, I could recapture that whole town. What do you want? Keep your powder dry, buddy. Police training, Chief Jackson's cruiser. When Chief Jackson found out how broke we were, he started paying me to watch his cruiser. Oh, that's nice. Uh -huh. I'll never forget him, or his car. The cruiser I saw was definitely his. Ha! Nice to see you're still alive, amigo. Man, I was thinking as soon as they talked about getting the cruiser, or looking for the cruiser, I thought this would be the car I upgrade, but what if when I upgrade it, I lose the ability to continue, to continue this quest? Because, you know, I, I don't think it's going to really know it's the, his, still, his same cruiser. Bloater. So gross. Wow, that's a lot of bloaters. And they're, most of them are just going to blow up against that door, I think. Trigger fingers itchy, so we're not clear yet. <laughs> she just stepped on his face. Consider this outpost done. Good thing I didn't fire my new gun. I had never put a suppressor on it. Oh, come on. I don't think I can kill it without getting gassed. This is gonna come in handy. Six flares and shells? Juarez, I reckon we've had we've some hard years ahead. I've gone east to stay with my granddaughter Colette. 
She's still living, and God willing, it will stay that way. Peace to you, death to the dead. Chief Jackson. The first time I met the chief was in the back seat of this thing. I got picked up for breaking and entering. Ah, she's a car thief. I was 17. Another cop might have come down hard on me, but we just talked. He turned my life around. And now I've got his car. Shit, yeah. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Like, so she probably needed a trait that had that, uh, some, she probably needed some sort of a criminal trait. I should check out the boon traders while I'm over here. Warn the others. We've got a juggernaut here. I can't shoot it here. I see a juggernaut nearby. Oh come on. Look sharp, kids. We've got a first. <laughs> I've never seen someone else do it. I got influence for that. It must be a bug then, because when I when I when I kill a juggernaut and someone else is hitting it, I don't get the influence. So it's probably like whoever's the last person to hit it or something. I don't know. Always glad to see you. So what do we got today? Of course. You couldn't get scraps of circuitry because I could totally use that. All right. Well. uh... Here, I'll, I'll... I'm losing influence though doing all this because I think it was up to 6,000 before. So I'm not making nearly as much influence as I'm as I'm spending right now. I don't actually need the ammo. How much ammo? I can carry 12 more, so I guess I might as well. What's going on, hun? Hello there. Hey there, business partner. All right. Better try to stop me. I forgot I was gonna switch over to Sophia so I could talk to her. I'm glad you showed up. Ready to pick up a few things for the still? Let's get to it. You're not drunk, are you? Hey, a beer in the morning is the best way to survive the apocalypse, don't you think? Got away some pros and cons. Travel to the store with Kayla to look for parts for the still. And where is this store? Okay, that's not bad. I don't like that juggernaut nearby though. Juggernauts everywhere. Oh god. Oh, sorry. Not feeling too good. Are you okay? Did you get bit by a plague zombie? 
Uh, not unless plague zombies a brand of beer. <laughs> How fun has that megaphone? I'm so sorry, not feeling too good. Warm beer, you know? Take a rest, I'll handle the situation. You're alright in my book. Oh, perfect. That's like right off my wish list. Thank you. I'll let you know when we've got the still set up. Here you go. Maybe they have to booze next time we go on a life-threatening mission together. Buddy, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Literally. Wow, she just kicked him in the head while I was doing that. on the map is our new outpost. Thank you, Santa. worth the effort. I don't need to look around here anymore. Let's take a look. Active effects. How much health am I getting from this mod? Plus 10 from free weights. Okay. Plus 5 max down, plus 5 max HP, huh? I guess we'll do it this one. under my tire. Okay, this is obnoxious. That won't work. Somebody do something. <laughs> Always glad to see you. So, you ready to start dealing? Sure, sounds good.
not even that way. Man, I, I don't like navigating this map at all. I spy a screamer. Bad news alert. You in here or what? Whoa. Well, we sure dropped that fucking ball. Red Talon Patrol India 3. I know we're the good guys. I just wish it were easier to remember that sometimes. Make sure your community has someone who knows how to use the medical supplies you find. All the bullets in the world can't fix a broken leg or cure a case of blood plague. <sighs> Sage advice. Gee, I don't know what I'd do without you. You're on point. You talking to me? After you. I swear she's gonna disappear. Huh. I wonder what Red Talon is up to in our town. This could have been our chance to prove ourselves to Red Talon. And I did nothing wrong. This was another one of those they're dead as you arrive events. our stuff if we can't store it properly. I found a letter in Chief Jackson's car with his address. It was recent, so maybe he's still alive. I should go take a look. Good luck. Police training, the old lawman's viper. Hmm. That letter in Chief Jackson's car was sent after the outbreak. That could mean he's still alive. Mm -hmm. It said he was living with his granddaughter not too far from here. It is so good to be here. Alright, well, uh, let's load up. Who was that? Get down to business. Sure. Shit. This place is overrun. I hope he's not in there. He's probably dead.
interested in trading, come on by and we can talk. <laughs> God. Or, you know, whoever. Old Lawman's Viper, a policeman's duty weapon from a half century ago. The fitted grip minimizes recoil, while the custom hair trigger ensures a quick response to threats. Revolvers never jam or break. Found it. Chief Jackson saved my life when I was a kid, and he just saved it again. His gun was legendary. I just hope I live long enough to deserve it. Time to start training. We're all clear. Hopefully we're starting a trend. Location is secure, guys. You can thank me later. Okay, well, if you really want to use it, sure, I guess. Here, I'll let you use his baton and his revolver. But you're definitely going to need to carry some ammo. I don't have a lot of it, though. So. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work out. I just don't have the ammo for that. Dinner bell. Okay. Hey, buddy. I almost missed you. I got your back. These people aren't reliable in a fight. Somebody's going to get hurt if they show up drunk again. I'm sure they've cleaned up their act after last time. Why don't you join me? Not a chance. Good to see you. Want to chill a bit? We need mash for the still. We found some at the tree farm, but it's infested. Help us clear it out? I'm in. Just keep it sober. If you say so. Don't worry, I'm on it. Nice! Oh, man. I don't know if I can handle this. I get it. My bad. Shake it. We owe a lot to the sheriff, so we just dropped off a little something special for you. We need to find some mash, but I don't know if I'm up for it. <laughs> that was the least effective drunken style, style kung fu I've ever seen. Think person. That was the least effective drunken style kung fu I've ever seen. Thanks for nothing. Shake it off. I'll find what we need. Hey, I'm sorry. Search the barn for the cycle wheat. I've seen entire towns taken over by hordes and infestations. Once it gets that bad, there's not much you can do to fix it. I can't die like this. Please help. Stay alive, all right? Hey, people, we got a plague Zed in the mix.
Death gets blood plague. I can feel it. Fuck yeah, it worked. Thank you. Can I read now? I need a doctor before I need a priest. Okay, how about and let me talk. Crap, I've got blood plague. I can feel it. That bite looks bad. We better get you back to your base. Come with me if you want to live. I owe you one. Every day we survive is reason to keep going. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving as fast as I can, I swear. It's your life. Let's pick up the pace. Never seen anyone do this quest either, so it's all new to me. Just in case, let's grab one of these. In case they say they have to euthanize her or something. Sure, I'm gonna make it this time. Hang in there. This stuff just might do the trick. I can't believe this happened. We're going to have to put her down. Uh, unless you have any gear. I'll go see what I can find. Cool, thanks. Don't you give up on me, okay? This should work. Probably. You like me. You really like me. Thank you so much. This means everything to us. Here, take this sack of wheat. You have to promise me that you'll exercise your strength, though, once you're making your own booze. <laughs> yeah, right. They'll probably get themselves. I don't know. We'll see. Today's the day we all get clean. We'll finish the still, but only for medicinal purposes. Keep your head on. Stay safe. Hey, you're not dead. Oh, you're fully healthy, you're okay. You're limping around. I thought you were gonna be another Tina. Always going on missions and gonna get yourself killed. I should probably do something about that juggernaut though before it becomes an issue. I thought that was a zombie. I think that's just Kayla limping around outside fast. Do you folks mind helping us out? Nothing more to find here. Let's go. Man, fine. Yeah. 
very nice. So these guys actually like us. Don't fuck it up. If I run out of stamina, I can actually. See, if I run out of stamina, I can actually see in the dark. It's weird, but it's true. <laughs> Does it no longer do the fade out? Weird. I guess they stopped the fade out business. <laughs> Never noticed until now. I see the juggernaut's shoulder, so this must be the head right there. He notices more another zombie dying than bullets in his head. I think that was on a miss. You're seriously not help. You are seriously not helping. You're gonna get us noticed. Shithole looks right. Ah, I didn't even dump off my stuff. You in here or what? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, still some deadheads around. What are you swinging at, man? Oh, that's that's for the booze house. I want to leave that one. Just what I was looking for. Fuck yeah, found it. I found one of my aunt's prepper plans. It's in code, but if I decipher it, maybe I can find out where she went. Thanks, Matthew. As soon as I can. Good deal. Thanks. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me three times? I don't even know what you call that. They're just going to get drunk again. They said they're giving up drinking. I believe them, especially after what happened last time. Well, that fucking sucks. Hey, amigo. Let's go. Safety in numbers, right? Okay, your lead. Glad I was still in the area. Those bandits stole our still. Can you help us? I'm with you. If they get away with this, it won't stop there. Anytime you're ready. Don't worry. I've been going real easy on the drinking lately. I got your back. Let's clear out some of these Zed infestations. Travel to the Red Garage and recover the stolen distillery equipment. We should keep moving. Those bandits who took our equipment might know we're coming. A dangerous group of thieves. They stole from our friends. Friend, careful. We're in hostile territory here. Away. Let's both just bring it down a step or two. Put your stuff on the fucking ground. 
Too bad there's no windows, but I'll see what I can do. I think I have that good of an arm. One more left. Nope. It's right there. Come on, humans. Come on outside. Open that door. Is definitely a horde over there. She just pushed me. The asshole. There's a screamer. All set to call his little friends. Well, I guess things maybe aren't all bad. There's a stranger over there. Could need some help. That was the last of them. It is a pharaoh. That'll do most of the work for me. What is it, like laser sights? I wonder if the AI ever got better at fighting pharaohs. I 
I see some asshole we might need to fight. I'm glad that's over. I hate fighting other survivors. See, I told you I'd be useful this time. Nice fighting. Glad to see you've sobered up. You're a real friend. Anytime your people need a drink, you know where to go. set up an outpost here. Our new outpost is ready for action. I gotta drop this off soon. my last shot okay this stuff is heavy that's the end of my ammo The end of my ammo. Okay, this stuff is heavy. I've spotted a juggernaut here. Yes, that's a screamer, all right. Let's not get too close to that bloater. Are you decided to stand up now? She's already maxed in the shooting, so I actually don't need to use the bottle bullets like this, but I did want the influence from killing all those different guys.
Whatever happened. Wonder what happens if he kills Brody and what's her face. Yep, there he is, killing them, killing them right now. Also moving my cars, I'm sure. Which I'm not gonna be happy about. Okay, my cars are in still okay condition. I'm unstoppable. All done. Keep up the great work, okay? Mission accomplished. The outpost is secure. Hey, stuff. Don't move a muscle, I'm on my way. You think you're being cute? Come on. That one doesn't see us yet. Come on in. Please, you have to help. We'll starve if we don't get our food back. I'll see what I can do. Keep yourself safe in the meantime. Stay safe out there. Some crazy woman just beat the hell out of my brother and stole all my food. Please help. She might still be close. I'm here to serve and protect. I'll find the suspect and your food. I 
should be able to find something good in all this. All right, folks. The outpost is up and running. You know, considering that you have to defeat two infestations to get the gun, the revolver, I don't really think the reward... I, I don't really think your character is right when they say, hey, wait. Did I fail the mission? What? What happened to my mission? Seriously, game? I was looking forward to doing this because it was new. New content. New content for me, anyways. It was not the, probably not the DLC patch, but... Is it because I built an outpost in that warehouse right there? Is that is that what happened? I hate to come across as needy, but if you're listening, I could use some help. I don't get it, game. All right, well, it's five in the morning. I'm going to go and stop anyways, but but for real, I'm tired of the missions just disappearing on me. All I did was run over here, make an outpost, so that I could come back and deal with these people without having to fight all the zombies in the area. You know, I'm trying to be considerate and trying to be, you know, planning ahead. I'm going to have to look in my editing and see if that was ex if, when I caught the outpost, if that's when the mission just disappeared. <sighs> Alright, well, thank you very much for watching Tran loses State of Decay 2. I'll see you next time. Oh yes, now I remember what's going on. If anyone's listening, I got my ass in trouble here. I just gotten frustrated. Today is July 3rd, 2018, and it's almost midnight. But yes, I I had just created an outpost here, and it bork it messed up my the quest I was on the oh, the follow up to fun. Captain Jacks to call, the follow up to Police Chief Jackson. So now I don't get to do that quest. Thanks, game. However, I was waiting to see if a patch would ever show up, and there is now a patch that should hopefully fix the not spawning item glitch that's been going on. So let's try that. What are your ability anyways? We don't even know yet. Probably not going to do anything with you. That's not what I want to achieve. Hold on. Okay, there, we work back here. So my mistake, I'd kind of forgotten how that worked. Friendly face. Okay, I don't know who my other follower is, but alright. What if I enter here? Would that save Matthew's location now? Hey there. Alright, so that should hopefully work. So, you ready to start dealing? Sounds like a plan. Man, scrambling around. Because I guess I'm still flustered about that when, now that I'm sitting back down and thinking, like, oh man, I really wish I saw that new content. I'm not doing too well. Anyone out there able to help me out? But hopefully we can get back in the swing of things. So I looked up where the rare weapons are for this map. 
And All right, so now I'm gonna head towards each one and hopefully hit them all. Before we do that, let's go ahead and check her out, see what she needs. Stay alive, okay? So is this the new quest that is finding dead people? We owe a lot to the sheriff, so we just dropped off a little something special for you. Let's see, how am I doing on resources? Uh, actually, let's try ordering meds and fuel. Oh, I should try one of these too. I say we call around to find a good scavenging spot. Survival instinct is a powerful thing, even stronger than the undead. There goes my light. You think a vehicle named the Smash Rock would be ready for that? Though it doesn't really show why it should hit my light in the first place. These guys could really help us kick some Zed ass. Hey, managed to hop over something.
This will come in handy. That's a lot of crap to haul around. I still have time to collect those meds and fuel I ordered. Assuming, of course, it really was patched, but, you know, they, they specified that they did, so... I see no reason other than just jaded skepticism. Carve out some time for my little side project. Can't wait to check that off my list. Okay, I guess that's half my time allotted, so I better pick it up. A little detour. I'll probably edit this segment out. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll edit this segment out and report in whether or not I found anything. Alright. Turns out that it is working. So remember the following um, you get 24 minutes and 15 seconds, at least the way it ordered for me. Maybe it's different depending on your perks or, or where you're, what map you're on or something, but. For me, I found a, I got 24 minutes, 15 seconds before the mission expired, and you get a prompt in 12 minutes, reminding you to do the mission. And then three minutes after that, you get the your radio your radio command is back. So when you see your radio command is back, you have nine minutes left to do it.
versus a local disturbance. This will come in handy. Oh, yeah. Sign me up. Take care and keep your eyes open. I'm here to save your ass, buddy. Sweet. I'll feel a whole lot safer once you're here. A wave of zombies about to hit us. We just gotta keep this up a little longer! The situation here just took a big old dump. Next wave! Here we go, people! I bet I could summon like all my allies in the at the shed nearby. <laughs> That'd be kind of amusing. Defeating that juggernaut won't be easy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Eat it. I wasn't afraid of getting hit by at least once because I have a massive hit point pool. That was impressive. I probably wouldn't have uh, been so brave if I were wounded badly or something. But the plus, I did need to save Allison. She had just taken like one or two hits there. Hmm, 
how about a new, uh, how about a new weapon? We can do without that. Fire cheese crowbar. Uh, whatever. I was going to replenish my gear. Guess I could have done that house that they just abandoned. That's fine. An outpost here will really help us fight the fucking zombies. Mark this place on the map as our new outpost. Okay, let's keep moving. Sorry about the play guards where I just never searched back here. See, that, that safe zone should be way bigger. I know it's not an outpost or anything, but there's no point of a safe zone being that tiny unless it's j I guess, I guess to represent just the building itself is secured, but otherwise it's really pointless because if you're not going in the building, it doesn't even matter. And that's going to be pretty much most any case. Very rarely are you going to really need... I mean, you don't really need to go inside a building you've already cleared all that often. I guess I might as well go ahead and deposit stuff now. Twain, do you think you're smart? Red Talon is right about one thing at least. To debate the philosophy of this later. Worry about saving as many people as you can first. Maybe instead of pretending to be smart on the radio, you should be out there saving lives. And I don't even know what would be better. Letting your mission expire so you will go away and possibly allow the mission to respawn. Or letting you stay in case the mission does require you to be there instead of just some other generated survivors. Say hello to your new outpost. Thank you, Santa. Gotta drop something else first. Well, the case here is uh, already open, so. But otherwise, that's all the rare cases on this map. Now to max out little G, and figure out if I want to 
even take Jace with me into the uh, survivor pool, as well as Alec. Pretty sure Alec is not going to the survivor pool. Doubt Jace will either. Not to alarm you, but we've got a few too many infestations around here. Eventually, brains win over brain eaters. You'll see. I know it may feel like you're losing more people than you're saving. And some days, that may even be true. But we have to believe that every person we save matters. The network makes a good case for looking out for each other. For this small segment with Little G, this is post-commentary. There was no commentary because I was just training. I didn't expect to have to say anything. And so a glitch appears. Tired. So this glitch, I seem to get a free grenade launcher every time the legacy mission starts. I'm not sure if this is because I've ignored the mission for so long or what. But I get a free grenade launcher. Now, I don't actually use it. I don't do anything with it. I don't even sell it for influence. But I can get so much influence right now, I don't actually need it. I don't even need the parts for it. But it seems to be the least damaging to the economy if I just salvage it. In the very last time it spawns, I just shove it in the back of a trunk and carry on with the game. I wasn't going to mention this at all because I didn't want to be accused of cheating, even though I'm not using it in the slightest. But during the final mission, when I opened my locker, there's suddenly like a bunch of grenade launchers in there and I didn't put them in there. So I'm leaving this little segment in and explaining it here. Oh, and right now it just drops a grenade launcher. This is the first time it happens. After this, it starts also dropping a shotgun, which I also don't use. So now everybody is maxed. I know how to follow these coordinates to my pants pepper plan. I wonder where they lead to. I probably won't get as far as getting laying the Wait, am I? Oh yeah, because I dismantled my facility. I dismantled all my mods, I mean. So I am short. Uh an outpost, but it's fine. Anyways. I probably won't get all the way to the gun, but let's go ahead and do El Del Aunt Delphina's prepper plan. Hello. I guess when I'm back, I'll go ahead and exile those two people. So this is his loadout. I'm going to just dump stuff in the car for now. I want to finish this mission as fast as possible because I'd like to get the gun. That's the point. I bet we can get that junker to run. Oh, uh, do I have to take this car home? <laughs> Can't do it. No, no, magnet hands. <laughs> oh, that's my car. <laughs> totally worth all the trouble. I guess I'll have to be back for the smash wagon. I barely knew my aunt, but wherever she is, I hope she appreciates that we'll put this to good use. Hey, amigos, I'm back. We have my aunt to thank for the car and the supplies. I just hope she's still out there somewhere. All right, let's exile these people. The normal cap is nine, and I don't actually have a problem staying above cap, but it may glitch the game, and it's fine. Matthew and Alec came in together, I believe. Dear Diary, today is the day we finally got our shit together. Yay! Good to see ya. Follow me. We got work to do. I'm right behind ya. Nice move if I say so myself. 
Got some dead ones coming in. This is Alec. Oh, hey. Okay, your lead. And we're gonna go ahead and exile him. He doesn't. His abilities are mediocre, or his traits are mediocre. His hero ability is okay, but ultimately, I don't need him. What do you want? After you. Yes. With you gone, there'll be one less big fucking mouth to feed. I'm going, but I can't believe you do this to me. Do you mind gathering something for us? All this noise is going to attract real trouble. Hi. I could use some help with this. So here's Jace. He has okay abilities, and he has a plus 10% influence gain. But again, I don't actually need any of his perks, so... What's up? Yeah. And he vaporizes! Come on, I was gonna exile him. Make sure it's... What's happening? I can give him a rucksack before I send him on his way. This isn't working out. You need to go. Yeah? Well, fuck you too. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have given Dinner Bell the runaround, huh? Now, since I get, again, I'm doing a lot better than I was in my first game. Who knows if if giving these people a hundred rucksacks is worth anything? Probably not. But you know what? I, I am doing well for myself, and I do try to be nice. We'll just consider exiling means they gotta go find another building out of the many that I've cleared, mind you. This place is full of and the only reason I have to exile is the game's limiting mechanics. Say hello to your new outpost. Someone's probably going to complain, so by setting up this outpost, I can uh, set up a talk. Hey there. Make yourself at home. Sorry to keep asking for food, but we've had a we ha we've had really bad luck lately. Anything would help. Thanks. Can you meet? We need to talk. Come on in. No funny business, okay? Oh, I don't want to make Cadet mad. Giving in to these demands is a bad idea. It's only going to get worse. Cadets, 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 important to our community. I mean, he won't get frustrated and leave, but I like cadet. He's more important than than these hungry survivors. I assume there's nothing I can say that will convince cadet, though. If we were in their situation, you'd ask for help too, right? Most certainly no. Let me think here. Really all I need to do is finish this mission. I doubt I'm going to see the prepper gun. Like it could it could be an hour, it could be 20 minutes. Uh, the length of these missions take or, or is an unknown quantity. So actually I'm just going to hit, go ahead and uh, we're going to we're going to forget this, but you know what? Just for these guys, if they can uh, if they can reach for this food, they can have it. <laughs> I refuse to believe the world will always be like this. Soup's on, fuckface! You ever 
Lieutenant, that job we talked about? <laughs> this is easier than it looks. You you don't even have to roll. Just just do the back dodge. And you're, I think you're invincible. And my allies are absolutely doing no damage to this thing. How can I prove it? Because I got the influence for this juggernaut. That's how. Plus there were no blood spurts or anything. Ready to go. He's still hurt. But let's use these abilities, which I've never actually exercised before. Oh, two minutes. All right. I thought it was instant. I don't know why I thought it'd be instant. Let's see here. Um, should I change any of these to anything else? Like a fighting gem or something for more hit points? I'm okay. That'll be alright. Yeah, sure, let's do some of this extra stuff. She was managing to climb on. Supposedly, you should be able to climb on vehicles, but I mean, I, I've stood on top of them occasionally. Like that, that's just weird. I think I sort of hooked into it. Time to focus on my priorities for a while. We have to be so cold. You got supplies, and I need them. Send something my way, stat. We'll get on that right away. What? <laughs> Did his helmet protect him from that stealth kill? Alright, so that's my emergency boost. And Matthew has now recovered, so let's get this mission underway. We have a few zombies coming toward base. Nothing we can handle, though. This ain't exactly. Just stay away, alright? I'm letting you live for now, so beat it. I'm surprised you even suggested that. Crab walking makes you go extra fast as of like patch 2.0. <laughs>
And how's the little G? Is she hurt? And she's slightly scratched. Any other objectives? Zombie threat at home. Okay. Survive. We need to help each other out. <sighs> yeah, no room for that. I get influence. We work for us, not for them. I'm sure they'll figure that out soon enough. I got influence <laughs> for ignoring them. Actually, I think that's Lil G's ammo. Yes? You're the boss. You talking to me? You talking to me? All right, lead the way. Hey, a friendly face. Come with me if you're not afraid of a little trouble. After you. <laughs> Alive, sunshine. We've got peril on our hands. Well, I was gonna let her walk home, just so that her health could be recovered by the time we get home. But it's fine. Though I'm not sure this is not the right way. So, can I make it in four minutes or am I going to lose three ammo? Which ultimately does not matter. In fact, it's probably better if I don't make it home. That way nobody gets scratched up. Now, for fighting juggernauts, using a bladed weapon probably is preferable because they're faster than blunt weapons. I believe the higher the ease of, ease of use, the less stamina it takes. The Apocalypse Bat has really high ease of use. That's why it looks like I can swing it for days. Not only are these characters stamina, most of them are using Apocalypse Bats. of a good time.
Everybody get ready. We got wall to wall zombies coming in. Did she despawn? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I only got nine people here, though. So I guess there are those two extra bodies as well. We have creeps practically climbing on top of our home. I'm just gonna observe. I don't actually need to be a participant in this fight. Maybe I can use maybe I'm too liberal with the word fight. No, I know that they can still climb over that wall. I, I know that. I don't have enough cars in the area for that. Though if I were to play this super long term, I would completely wall off that, that section with maybe two more cars. As it is, I wall off the corners so that way they can't just sneak up on me. I'll I'll know they're coming over the wall. So all the all the corners are sealed off. Somehow they're inside the back again. I think they're just go. I think they just phase through things if you're not around. Yep. Looks like we're not done yet. Check this area, because I do know that they go through doors. Take a break before I fall over. Yeah, there's there's no gaps or anything they can get through. What I want to do is dismiss follower. Maybe if I pick someone else. Are you the... No, you're not the mechanic. So who's my mechanic? You're my mechanic. So this is something I've been waiting to do for, or I have not gotten this achievement yet. So we're about to. I already got all I can handle. Whoops. This will slow me down. But you know what? I better not leave it in there just in case. Right, so what we'll do is we'll take a. We'll leave an ammo pack in there. I mean, um, materials pack, since I have plenty of those. It should stay. And what should happen is this should turn into a four-door vehicle. Heads up, kid. Uh, do we park correctly or what? Like I, I, I used to keep triggering this menu all the time by accident. All right. Well, I, I want to, I want to do it from this menu or from the world, not from the game menu. But it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. We're also going to see if it refills or gets repaired. Made. 
Looks like it's completely repaired and completely refueled. And it just has random new stuff in the back. Cool. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's park this bad boy and uh, we'll begin the final mission then. But yeah, it is now a four door vehicle. All right, I guess we are ready to begin the final mission. Everything that I could possibly do has been done. Um, other than some minor f scratches on the characters, we're all ready to roll. we told Elizabeth, El, 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 Elizabeth to get lost. Her showing up again probably doesn't mean anything good. Stay safe. Switching to Winter will initiate their mission, Builder, Neighborly Ultimatum. Once you start this mission, switching away from Winter will abandon that mission. Are you sure you want to switch right now? Huh. Hmm. Those are the same fools we turned away. What are they doing here? Then here's her final equipment. Everybody pretty much has the same loadout from this campaign. As well as a pile of, uh, as well as a pile of materials. Hey. Once you complete this mission, you can never access this community again. However, completing the legacy gives you a permanent boon. However, completing this leg. We could really use some help from you folks. However, completing this legacy gives you a permanent boon that can apply a huge benefit to your future communities. The survivors from this community will also be available whenever you start a new community. Would you like to start the final mission? Uh, so let's get rolling. Wait, did I select the wrong one? Okay, no, I had to talk to them. So let's talk to Brody first. I got nothing to say to you. Some other time, then. Well, it is understandable. Uh, hold on, let me make sure my guns are... Alright. Oh, I'm watching, alright. It is understandable because her friend died right in front of her, so I get that. You should have let us in. Now you've got to go. Not a chance, but thanks for making me feel better about that decision. Oh, 
Bye. Let's see if I can get them to go inside the crate more to buy me some more time. <laughs> I don't know how, how soon I, or how, how much time I get. I know for the trader you get a little bit of time. Karma's a fucking bitch, isn't it? Looks like the dead have come calling again. There's a freak out there. Did I kill them both? No. We can do this. Did not have that many grenade launchers before. So I, I don't have no idea. I know it looks like cheating, but I, I didn't spawn those grenade launchers. I have no idea what, where they came from. I can ex I can say this though, when the neighborly ultimatum when mission would spawn, a shotgun and a grenade launcher would just appear under my feet. I have no idea why. Uh, this is a legitimate version of the game. I, it's not pirated. Only used a grenade launcher once this playthrough, and it was the one I bought after the 50 cal nerf. Yeah, so these are shotguns and grenade launchers, and I have not been keeping them. I've actually been shoving them away or dismantling them or something, but I haven't been keeping them. I only have the one grenade launcher, so all the others I just got rid of. Didn't even fire. We can do this! Safety. We just gotta keep this up a little longer! So, not sure where that bug comes from. No idea, and I know it looks like I'm cheating, but that... Safety. Self-sufficiency. These are the first steps to long-term survival, and goals like those can only be achieved with a home as strong as- One thing we humans have going for us? Hope. And posable thumbs. Is that it? And goals like those can only be achieved with a home as strong and secure as this one. Oh, everybody kept interrupting her. In fact, if I don't make any cuts between the last time I looked in my storage locker and now, you should see, you should see that, like, they weren't- they weren't there before. We've all endured terrible pain and loss on the path to this moment. But just look around at what we've done together. We've transformed this town into something strong. And whatever can be done once, can be done again in another town. If we stand together, 
Nothing can stop us from taking this world back. I don't know. I'm I'm sorry. I I, I just I don't feel guilty about it or anything because I haven't done anything with it. But I know it looks bad. I just I'm just I'm just gonna leave it in there because this this that was during the final mission, and I don't want I don't want the, there to be a skip in the final mission. I, I guess I'm showing it because I got nothing to hide. New legacy boon amenities provided by builder base white power and water at any base with no fuel cost or threat. Yeah, well, it's a little bit glitchy, <laughs> but that's state of decay too for you. I haven't. I, I'm not sure if me rebuilding the sniper tower three times was needed. So, with the massive amount of cuts that will exist for episode 33 or 34, whichever one it is, uh, it shouldn't look bad. Like, it, it, it should look basically like 30, roughly 30 minutes have taken place, uh, rather than, say, 90 minutes. There was a lot of cuts during that particular episode. Because at this point, I'm pretty much finalizing the game, just, just uh, doing a few last, uh, doing a few last details. Because Zadrig defeated the play cards, moved to a big base, had a massive empire of resources, facilities, and survivors. So it's just pretty much finishing up, doing the finishing touches, which takes a really long time to get everybody the way I want it. Alright, so I have no idea why those shotguns and grenade launchers appeared. In fact, they just keep appearing every time the Builder the builder Ultimatum line comes in. Like, it's like, hey boss, come look at this, or something. And then two two bags just spawned under my foot. No idea why. I'm not running any cheats, it's not a pirated game or anything. Uh, and so what I what I had done was, for example, I, I for the first time it happened, I just, I was like, what the hell, What what is this? And it's like, okay, maybe someone's dropping things. Next couple times it happens, okay, uh, I'm gonna just salvage these for parts. And then today when I started the game, uh, I just shoved it in the hatchback, or whatever it's called, um, in the corner. I just took the shotgun and grenade launcher and just shoved it in there. But otherwise, I wish it didn't show because now it looks like I've been cheating this whole time, but that's not the case. Uh, the only time I used a grenade launcher was one time during this playthrough on the last Plague Heart after the 50 cal nerve. And I bought the grenade launcher, I'm pretty sure I bought it from Jace. So, I was under no shortage of influence this round. So buying a grenade launcher is no, no problem, but I didn't use any of the free shotguns or grenade launchers the game gave me. Any of the parts it may have given me is purely incidental. I mean, I'm sure I threw away more parts than that. I'm sure I had more parts than that just sitting around. So, I don't feel it gave me an unfair advantage. Um, I tried to minimize the impact it made on my game. I mean, if, if, if for example, I was down to like no parts, then I'd say, like, yeah, it really paid off, but no, I had tons of parts. In fact, I brought it down to less than 1,000 just to keep it in one stack. I, I was just brushing that under the rug because I didn't want people to think I was cheating, but now it just appeared in my storage locker. I was refusing it all this time, and they just shove it in my storage locker now? I feel weird. I, I feel weird about it just randomly happening right there, but it, I don't know what else to do about that. Other than, say, edit that section out, but I'm not going to because it is the final final mission. Which is, just, you know, basically like a zombie siege like any other, essentially. Uh, except maybe there was like two bloaters, three or four screamers, maybe even a pharaoh and a juggernaut that despawned. This is patch 2.1. I don't know if other people are having similar free grenade launchers or what. But once I complete complete the game, if, it, if that is something, a bug that I can continue to replicate, then yeah, maybe I'll just do it just to equip everybody with grenade launchers. I don't know. I actually don't want to because I don't want my cars blowing up. <laughs> that was that was an issue in Lifeline. Uh, you just had to be careful about it. They probably would destroy your cars and you just had to accept that as part of the cost of having some, some butt-kicking weapons in your crew. But frankly, I think I'll probably put things like the Star Shank on people because 
I, I don't know if it sets nearby people on fire, but it would attract zombies to that location. So that might be pretty cool to set up on it as a defense. And the shotgun wasn't any good either. It looks like a very low quality shotgun, but I, I don't actually use shotguns that much in these games. In State of Decay anyways. I use it all the time in Left 4 Dead, but not in State of Decay. I was curious about if it would work well with the dismemberment ability though. Uh, in that perk, I think it's sharpshooting, shots pierce enemies, and it just has like an extra chance to dismember thing, dismember enemy, enemies. So I, I feel like it is essentially turning the game into Left 4 Dead, because that's what the shotgun would do. It infinite piercing, and of course it would dismember anything it hit, so. But otherwise, I, f I felt that when I looked at the stats, if I remember right, and I didn't like sit down and, and write down the number of the stats or anything yet, but I felt, I felt like when I compared it to other shotguns, it just wasn't any good. Alright, so now I have my third legacy. I'm not sure if I'll begin the next playthrough right now, but well, you can at least take a look. So this gives me base wide power and water with no fuel cost or threat. I think power costs two and water costs one fuel or something like that. I forget. I don't think it's just two fuel total, but I, I wasn't really hurting for fuel at the end of the game. Uh, this allows me to have a and a trader that stays on the map. I don't know if they follow me from map to map though. So if I were to say take favors as a as a card, take take the favors card, and then transfer map, I don't know if there's going to be a boon trader that appears on the next map. So this is pretty cool. Maybe this is the reason. Perhaps it is charity combined with, say the Builder legacy being ignored repeatedly. Uh, those are the two consistent things in this one. It could be any legacy mission, but I can say that for the Builder legacy, because because I didn't have this happen for the Trader legacy, and I ignored that a lot. So it could be Sheriff combined with the Builder legacy makes that happen. I don't know. So I have to decide. So what I'll probably do is maybe I'll try running a test of favors and seeing how that works um, with with transferring bases, and then I'll decide. So I guess I won't start the next campaign right now. Uh, again, I apologize for the weird glitchiness. The grenade launcher spam that appeared in my supply locker. I had no control over that, didn't use any of it. I hope you can accept that as just part of State of Decay, and not as some sort of hidden exploit I've, uh, I've been doing behind the scenes or something. Uh, despite that, I hope that you still enjoyed this final episode of The Builder Legacy for Tran Win State of Decay 2. I'll see you next time.